Striding out across the land are structures some consider a blot on the landscape. Others think magnificent. Either way, they're vital to our electricity supply, and they're dirty. Pylons, or transmission towers as the engineers call them, are a truly supersized cleaning problem. The cleaning team is run by Des Grant, better known as Dodge. Well, if you're scared of heights, you're a non-starter in this game, I think, painting. That's, you know, if you're scared of heights, this job's no good for you. Working at dizzying height isn't the only thing that might put you off. Well, there's 400k running through this line here, so I wouldn't go out on these arms because um, you get fried, probably. 400k is 400,000 volts. They're going to clean the towers without switching off the electricity. Unsurprisingly, this calls for a safety briefing. All right, boys, yep. risk assessment filled out before you start work. Your emergency plan's in there, read it. Don't just chuck it in the back of your van so you know where your hospitals are in case there are any emergencies or anything. Let's go in there and lots of money. The lads want to get cleaning. What size are you, Gary? Nine, please, Dodge. But Dodge makes sure they all have the safety gear they need. Riggers. You got striker heads? Yeah, got striker heads. Airbrushes. Dodge. Overalls. Assuming they keep away from the electricity, the bigger danger is falling off. They use ropes and harnesses so they're always clipped onto the towers. Come on then, let's have ya. Falling off and the 400,000 volt conductors are the obvious risks, but there is another one, lightning strike. All right, cheers, Dave. Thanks a lot, mate. Bye-bye. Lightning risk free, boys. All right, cheers, cheers. Well, OK, right up. If we see or hear lightning, everybody's down off the towers. With years of experience, Dodge wants to check all the rope gear one last time. Righto, yeah, lovely. Let me know as soon as you finish, because I want to hand this tower over for inspection today, OK? Righto, right boys. The job today is brushing off flaky paint and algae before the tower is painted. Safety is the top priority. Next is getting going, because the team is paid for the work they do. All right, boys, let's get this bottom tier done. The more towers clean, the more they earn. And that can be nine to fifteen hundred pounds a week. The lads begin their ascent. Action on cameraman. Oh, by the way, there is sound on this. So that's my mate, please. No swearing, boys. Hello, my mate. I'll give you one look at the view and one look only, because I've got to work. And there you see, the lovely view we have every day. <laughs> In Kent, electricity pylons carrying a 400,000 volt power line are in desperate need of maintenance. With their paint deteriorating, the steel will rust. But before they can be painted, the towers have to be cleaned. A team of climbers are beginning the ascent of tower number four. With the camera on his head is Dean. Right, let's earn some wonga. Well, on this particular route, there's 47 towers. Um, and uh, this tower's probably about 130 for a die. Before you paint anything, you know, you've got to get your prep right. We're wire brushing at the moment, getting the tower ready for primer. Any flaky paint, got to be scraped off, getting it all ready for, for priming. As you see, we're prepping the pylons just to get some flakes off, any dusty and rusty bits, and the green. The green is algae, though on tower number four, it's not too bad. Each tower gets a clean and repaint every 15 years or so. Without it, the steel would rust. Eventually, the whole thing would have to be replaced. Good morning, Mr. Oxo. While the men are on the steel towers, they have to be careful. The electricity is still on. Well, this tower at the moment's live, so they can't go out onto the arms. They can only work on the tower structure, the tower body. So, obviously, we've got red pennants up on the arms. So that, that's telling, that's demarcating the, the, the live area. We can't encroach that safety distance. The red flags mark the safe distance from the live 400,000 volt conductor, 3.1 meters. Any closer, and there's a danger of arcing, electricity leaping from conductor to man like lightning. It's a funny thing, electricity. It, it, it can arc out, it can arc out at you and uh, well, you'll, have, you'll have serious burns. You, you'd probably be killed with this, with, with 400,000. You probably wouldn't, you wouldn't survive. Sometimes when you're climbing up a, a body, as you're going past the cables carrying the power, you'll get little static electric shots. 
makes you a bit jumpy, but they get used to that. That's part and parcel of the job. You can't clean a transmission tower without a great head for heights and a sense of balance. As you see, he's doing a daredevil move. Over the last 10 years, the rope system's come in, so everyone must be attached before stepping off the ground. But when Dodge started climbing towers, there were no ropes. Well, you just climbed them freestyle with your paint on your side. There have been a few accidents, but there's probably been a few accidents with the rope system, but I've known a, a couple of boys falling over the last 28 years. Doing well, youngin. As you see the youngin there, working away. Looking good. Yeah, I've taught this one everything he knows. This is why he's top notch. Working hundreds of feet up in the air, exposed to the elements, and with danger of death from falling or electrocution, some people would get a bit nervous. Not these lads. Kelvin, give us a wave. Kelvin, Kelvin, give us a wave. You make me chuckle. I hope this camera don't fall off my head. Don't drop the camera. <laughs> please don't fall off, please don't fall off. A good prep equals a good coat. I'm sure, I'm sandy sure. Despite appearances, the pressure is on. They have to get the tower cleaned and inspected before the end of the day. Back in Kent, Dean and the pylon cleaners are working their way down tower number four, scraping loose paint and algae as they go. Everyone's looking good. But before the tower can be handed over for painting, the quality of the clean has to be checked. Tower's finished. Ready for inspection? Yeah, it's all yours. All right, oh. All right, Carl. Tower number four is ready for inspection on prep. OK. All right, see you in a minute. The QA team now are on the way. They'll be looking for any flaky paint, any algae on the tower, any green. You know, they'll take a wire brush and a scraper up with them. If they see a couple of little bits, they'll just, you know, get it up there so it's passed. The quality assurance company checked that everything's been done right. Do it, Dodge. OK, Matt. All right, we're ready for a check now on this one. Prep. All right, then. All right yeah. number four. Yeah, look at that. They possibly could fail it if it's bad, but We've got good gangs of men here, so I'm, I'm not in expecting it to fail. Cole, what's it like? Good. A couple of old bits, but... Passing it. Good. It's passed. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Right out. There are 22,000 transmission towers in the UK. Today, it was the turn of tower number four. Well done, boys. That's it. Another one passed. We're all ready for priming. Job done. I'm out of here.